Hello everyone, this is La Modelist and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. For today's tutorial, I will demonstrate two sleeve styles, a new slash and spread technique for bishop sleeve and the leg of mutton sleeve. To learn the pattern making and the sewing for bishop and leg of mutton sleeves, make it sure to continue on watching this tutorial to see the detailed step-by-step -step processes. Now let's start with the bishop sleeve. To start off, trace your basic sleeve sloper on your paper. From the bicep line at the underarm side seam, mark down 2 inches or 5 centimeters. Do this each side. From these marks, square diagonal lines going to the center line at elbow line. From the angle at underarm side seam, mark down another 2 inches or 5 centimeters. Do this each side. From the center line at elbow, mark out 2 inches or 5 centimeters each side. And square diagonal lines connecting these marks. And lastly, square vertical lines from the marks at the elbow line. These are the slash lines for the bishop sleeve. Next, cut the sleeve from the paper and slash through the lines. Next, get a new paper and place the pattern on top and tape it in place. Next, square a new center line for the sleeve. From the new center line, mark out 4 inches each side. And tape in place the strips directly onto the marks. And spread the rest of the remaining strips by 3 4 8 inches or 9 centimeters. And place the strips directly onto the marks and tape in place. Next, square a line connecting the first two strips. From this line, mark down 2 inches or 5 centimeters. And from this mark, redraw the hem using a curved ruler. And put your desired sewing allowance to your sleeve. At the hem, put 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters for the garter casing. And cut the pattern on your fabric.
By the way, I will top stitch the hemline to give me a guideline. I've top stitched the hem by 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters. Next, sew the side seams together. And clip off the curvy seam to ease the tension before pressing. For the hemline, this will be folded and pressed. First, press the seam open. And fold and press the hemline to create a casing for the garter. Before sewing, leave few inches of opening for the garter. And sew the hem by 2 eighths of an inch or 0.6 cm to create the casing. This opening will accommodate the garter that will be inserted inside. And next, I will use the wrist measurement from my sloper for the garter. To insert the garter, use your bodkin tool and I will use mine for this one. Next, insert the garter from end to end. And once you have seen the garter on the last end, face the garter right side to right side and sew the garter by 4 eighths of an inch or 1.2 centimeters. And close the opening of the casing. Et voila, so this is the final result for the bishop sleeve. As you can see, I folded the garter inside just to hide the white stitch lines. By the way, you can spread more inches or centimeters between the strips to achieve a full puff at the hem. Now let's move on to the leg of mutton. From the hem at side seam, mark up 6 inches or 15.2 centimeters each side. And from the hem at center line, mark up 12 inches or 30 centimeters. Next, square diagonal lines connecting these marks, creating an angle. And from the angle at side seam, mark up 4 inches or 10 centimeters each side. And from the angle at center line, mark up 4 inches or 10 centimeters. 
and again connect these marks creating another angle. From the second angle at side seam, mark up 3 inches or 7.6 centimeters each side. And lastly, mark up 3 inches or 7.6 centimeters from the second angle. And connect these marks. And these are the slash lines for the leg of mutton sleeve. Next, cut through the center and slash the rest of the lines. And on a new pattern paper, square a line. And match the center line of the sleeve to the new line at the paper. And tape it in place. From new center line, Mark out 1 6 inches or 4.5 centimeters each side. Place the strips directly onto the marks and tape it in place. Continue to spread the remaining strips by 1 6 inches or 4.5 centimeters. and place the strips onto the marks and tape it in place. Next, square a line connecting the original sleeve caps. From the horizontal line, at center line, mark up 8 inches or 20 centimeters. From this mark, redraw the sleeve of the cap by the way, you can do it freehand or you can use your ruler for this one. And put your desired sewing allowance. And notch the original sleeve cap from end to end. This is for the gathering reference. And cut the sleeve pattern on your fabric. By the way, before sewing, mark the notches for gathering references. To gather the sleeve cap, use a loose stitch line. Pull a single thread 
from one of the threads from the stitch line to gather the cap. And lastly, sew the under seam. And this is the result for the leg of mutton sleeve. Mind you that this sleeve doesn't have a tool to give the puff more volume, yet it still looks good. For the gathers, you can choose if you want to pleat it or create some darts or just gather it. At the end of the day, it is up to your liking. Anyway guys, I hope this tutorial gave you enough tips on how to make patterns and how to sew the b-shop and leg of mutton sleeves. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to comment down below and I'll make it sure to answer your questions as quickly as possible. And if you're not subscribed yet to my YouTube channel La Modelise, make it sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up and share this video to your friends. And I will see you guys again on the next tutorial. A bientôt!